This year, 2022, marked a clear shift from glamorous films to content-oriented cinema. The leading ladies constructed their own path to more nuanced and multi-layered portrayal of women and sparkling stories. Vidya Balan in Jalsa played a self-righteous woman who impressed one and all with her effortless portrayal of a multi-layered character. Huma Qureshi in Monica Oh My Darling, Maharani and Double XL redefined womanhood on screen. From playing a femme fatale in one and the CM of a state in another, she brought authenticity to all the characters she played. Nimrut Kaur, as the CM of a male-dominated state, makes a pit statement on the equation of marriage and tickled and surprised her audience in a comic role. Rinal Thakur as Noor Jahan in Sita Ramam stitches love, longing and wait for her lover in a colourful film that epitomised a love saga. They gather for actresses round table and discuss the new skills they acquired this year, pay parity, social media following of an actor, the best and worst part of being a Hindi cinema actress. Hello and welcome to the annual round table. What a beautiful year 2022 was. Our leading ladies, our female actors took chances with the kind of characters that they were playing on screen. And what came out of it was simply mesmerizing. We have all the leading ladies right here on the round table. Huma Qureshi, Nimrit Kaur, Vidya Balan and Rinal Thakur. Welcome. Okay, ladies, what a beautiful year this has been, 2022, actually was quite uh, different from the other years. You in Monica, Oh My Darling, and uh, this beautiful web series called Maharani, where you played the CM of Bihar. You also played the CM of a state. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're contesting elections. Contesting elections. <laughs> Season 3, I <laughs> You played Maya Menon, a journalist, I guess a character that you've never played before. Yeah. And you played Noor Jahan in Sita Ramam, which was such a beautiful, aesthetically it was such a pleasing film. And you were so pleasing as a princess of a, of a state. What is the happiest and the most pleasant memory from your professional life this year? Oh, wow. Uma. No, my God, uh, I think just uh, doing Jalsa was, I shot for it last year, mm. but uh, when I watched it, I saw things that I've done as an actor that I haven't done before. So that was, mm. uh, that was a good feeling for me because now, you know, it's been 17 years yes. and I, I, in my mind's eye, I know how it's going to look when I do something. Right. You know, um, I don't know how to describe that better, but there were some things that I said, oh, okay, interesting. That was new. Yeah, that was new. So that, I think, um, made me very happy. Mm. Yeah, after 17 years, there's still something that, uh, that my face could express a certain emotion differently from the way I've done it before mm -hmm. um, as a different person. Mm. Because even when you're playing different people, it, you've got one face, one body, there are, you come into it, right? Yeah. But there were moments that I felt very good about. Wonderful. When we talk about the volume of work, I, I guess you've done the maximum work with a 10-part series, Maharani yeah. and Monica, oh my darling, a very contemporary, quirky uh, thriller. Uh, what was your pleasant, most ple pleasant I've memory? just been working the last couple of years, actually. So I've been, I have no life apart from just going to set and shooting, which actually touched wood, I hope. Yeah. That continues. Uh, I think the pleasant for me, the thing is, I think uh, post COVID has been a bit of a rediscovery for mm. myself in mm. terms of what I want to do and who I am. Mm. And and earlier, I think maybe I was going through this whole process of always second guessing myself and trying to think, okay, this is what I ought to do because mm. that's the expectation mm. from me as a girl, as a female actor. So somewhere, I think all that time I had for myself and all the therapy I did and whatnot, I feel like it made me realize that no, I just need to do what makes me happy. happy. And maybe it'll strike a chord. So I think that realization and it does you know, reflect in every aspect of your life and I think my professional aspect is also mm. uh, that but I feel a lot more at ease 
I'm not thinking too much or second guessing my professional choices. So if I had to play like a mother of three mm. in a show called Maharani, you know, I'm not holding myself back saying, oh my God, three children ki ma, you know, mm. is it the end of your career? Mm. And playing Monica or my darling in the same way. I think it's because it's how you are choosing to see yourself and not getting affected by these tags or labels that you think your professional work will yeah. get for you. And what a beautiful uh, balance, by the way. Thank you. Uh, CM of Bihar and then all the red lipstick and the... It's, yeah. Honestly, it's, 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 it's a teamwork. I yeah. know I'm like, I've been part of these amazing films and series and I've actually had a very busy, I've had five releases, um, mm. you know, so whether it's a Tamil film, it's been Double XL, it's been uh, Sanjay Sir's song, uh, you know, it's been all of these things and I feel it's just because I'm just not thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on set and just have fun mm. and not think about what's mm. going to happen after this or how it's going to be received because that I feel anyway is not in your hand. The only thing in your hand is your work. Yeah, yeah, mm. correct. What about you, Nimrit? <laughs> All of us were very, very <laughs> pleasantly surprised to see yeah. you perform so well. Yeah. It was so authentic, the portrayal of a Haryanvi woman. Yeah. Go on. Thanks. You know, it was actually the most frightening part that I've uh, attempted or taken up. Mm -hmm. And I was really wondering, what is it that's making these guys want me to do it? Mm -hmm. Because I was like, I know I want to do it. I'm frightened as hell when I was, <laughs> you know, getting out of that office that day after. You know, you hear the one line or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know you want to do it, it's like, you know, a date gone well. <laughs> you, know, you know, there's something out there. I like that, <laughs> I like, I like that. that. But you're like, you know, I know I want to date this guy, but you know, like, you know, let's see now what happens. And I was really frightened. But uh, honestly, that, that was the biggest payoff because, you know, I, I took up something, I went into it, uh, you know, uh, neck deep mm. and I was I was I just really just went into it with everything I could mm. whether it was uh, you know the weight I had to put on or the mm. accent I had to learn or the fun I had to have and mm. it's the antithesis of a person that I reckon with in day-to-day -day life that mm. I am mm. because you know like Being an army, kid. army kid yeah. you know you're kind of you know expected to behave a certain yeah. way the good morning good afternoon yeah. good evening good night you know that <laughs> life know. is what you understand most yeah. and that's most natural for you mm. so it was actually uh, a part that was so exciting and all of that good stuff because it was the most frightening for me. Mm. So I went into it and bas would jab and <laughs> <laughs> dive into it. So, so what was stuff. the happiest memory? <gasps> the happiest memory was actually that people were stunned they didn't recognize yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Including my mother because she was she, you know when I used to go home to Delhi huh. she used to just look at me and she's like beta tu theek ho jayegi. <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. Because she could see that she could not relate to yeah. you know what I was trying to do at home. Or, you know, sometimes I would say the lines and all that. She's yeah. like, Tup, <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I button quickly those, those, those pictures do. you put out of yeah. yourself in that process of putting on that weight? I thought that was yeah. so cool. Like that was so brilliant and that was so brave. And I think like it was like reclaiming your body back. And I just love that. I yeah, absolutely I'm, love I'm that. I'm greatly inspired by all of you guys at this table and I have to say that you know we all draw courage yeah. and inspiration from each mm -hmm. other knowingly unknowingly we all don't meet that much yes. but you know it, these are conversations that are happening for the first time in life in the world mm. internationally mm. and domestically mm. so it it will be very uh, I think uh, you know very narrow-minded of me to say that it was my uh, idea and it was this and that. I've been seeing this around me, mm. whether you've, uh, you know, spoken about it, Vidya, you've spoken about it for years now, you know. Mm. I recall with Dirty Picture, oh, yeah. you know. These are, you know, these are conversations which need to be had on a daily basis. Yes. And I had my own takeaway about what it did to me and what I understood of body shaming and people just you know thinking that they have a right to say whatever, whatever. the hell they yes. want yeah, to right. because bef before a hello how are you it's like are you either you, yeah. you, you lost so much weight yeah. right I know yeah. but it's always the other wow, way around yeah. this is a license yeah. wow. so I really enjoyed and kind of uh, it was a an interesting process to observe all of this for me. Mm. And so, as an actor, it's very important because an actor is always so concerned and aware of how he must look to yeah, be in the profession yeah, yeah. and getting of rid course. of all those fears is so liberating sometimes. Yeah. So that was the happiest yes. takeaway from the, yeah. those experiences. What about you, um, Rinal? Just to be able to face the camera because yeah. that's exactly what I wanted all my life mm. to do. Mm. And to be able to get that platform and See, I, when I entered this industry, I always had a vision. I always know what my tomorrow is like. Really? So, when I signed this film, 
two and a half, almost three years ago, yeah. people were like, uh, how smart, Manal? You signed a South film and South films are doing great. I said, <laughs> no, I did it like three years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but the vision I have for me is to be able to speak in different languages. Mm -hmm. Earlier, there was a stereotype. People tried to put me in a box saying that, you know, I started with a particular medium, so yeah. they would give me that title of a particular Yeah, this actor. whole TV versus film debate. But I think now it's, uh, it's, it's done, done, it's done and done. dusted. Done, yeah. So, I came up with this thing that how about I do Marathi cinema, I do Hindi cinema, I do Telugu cinema, Malayalam cinema, Punjabi cinema and Gujarati Punjabi? cinema. Punjabi? You've done all of this? I mean, why not? Uh, uh, you've yeah. done? No, Have not you? done. Oh, okay. done. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, <laughs> kitna yeah. ka. I did Marathi, I did uh, Oh, really? Telugu. Marathi? Wow. Yeah, I started with Marathi. So... Which, which film was that? The, this is Suraja, Viti Dandu, Hello wow. Nandan. Okay. Um, and then I realized that, you know what, we are at a stage where we need to represent cinema as Indian cinema. Yeah. <laughs> and for me, the biggest dream is to be able to act in different languages. Yes. And yet, so for me, when I was facing the camera on the sets of Sita Ramam, I would not just learn my dialogues, but I would learn my co-actor's dialogues also. I believe that, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I need to know what he's saying, right? And uh, because sometimes what happens, you end up reacting before and that pregnant pause is so important mm -hmm. in one particular scene yeah. that that scene holds on that. It's not always the dialogues. It's yeah. not always who's saying how much. Yeah. Sometimes, like I studied Irfan sir, like he would just look into the camera and mm. with those pauses, he would just True. kill it. So, uh, the happiest memory is again, like for me to be able to be on sets. Okay. Last night I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and he said, I have realized that you're happier when you're on sets than you're yeah. not working. True. And I think uh, that's what I always wished for. And I hope that <coughs> till the last breath of my life, I keep working. Yes, that's, that's the yes thing. Yes to that. <laughs> yes to that. You know, uh, there was a time when as everybody sat on the table, the first word that he mentioned was, let's have a cat fight, in a lighter <laughs> note, right? <laughs> and in the 90s, all, the all these publications would, you know, that would be a major portion of their publicity or film content uh, around cinema. Now we are, thank God, over that. As women in the industry, as female actors in the industry, what's the situation now? Is there a camaraderie? Is there harmony? Is there enough work for all women? Uh, or we're still a little, a few inches away from that stage. You know, I think a big change is the, is lies in the fact that we are no longer just playing appendages to the men. Yes. Yes. Well, so yes. I think we all have are playing women who have identities of their own, mm -hmm. and you know we are kind of uh, headlining films. We're in a way ruling the roost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we are very comfortable. There is competition, undoubtedly. I'm. It's not mm -hmm. like I don't know what another actor's film does at the box office of course mm. now box office is it's yeah. a you know at the moment not doing so well yeah. but generally but i'm saying all that's healthy competition mm. that we're not doing away with but i definitely think that we're all i think uh, there's no yeah. jealousy anymore no no it's and it's even uh, if there's the I, I i mean any more no i think it's a narrative right people narrative. get along or people yeah. don't get along you know mm. i could not get along with a person and that person could be a guy mm. it's got nothing to do with gender gender yeah. and two women can get along fabulously yes. so i think it's a bit person specific things but sometimes mm. these things also get spoken about and reported in media as some mm. narrative thing oh women don't yeah. get along because it sells yeah. you know and also it because it sells it just sells it's it, entertainment for people to hear yeah, that exactly and like like what uh, Vidya also said it's like we are no longer appendages to men now yeah. we're also doing our own films so it's not like aapka aapka role ke uh, hero ki girlfriend ya right. hero ki bivi ya hero ki behen right now it's like you are also demanding and asking and saying like okay no give me something more to do i mm. can do more mm. you know so make me do more it's mm. also that yeah. and i feel that's also going to change and we're going to constantly keep pushing the envelope and i'm yeah. not saying ki there's not going to be healthy competition but i feel like i mean i personally get along more with women yeah. You know, I feel like they're easier to work with yeah, me too. and uh, far less uh, uh, complicated and easier to talk to. You know, you can just have a conversation and be like, okay, you know, this is not working or working. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun. Yeah. In fact, I just worked with Sanakshi. I just worked with Manal on a film that's going to come out. We had an absolute blast. I'm yeah. sure, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's just so much fun. Yeah, it's just so yeah, much absolutely. ease. Even work with female directors, it's a, it's a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Have, you, have you worked with each other in projects? No. 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 I have been dying to work Jenna, you haven't. That's yeah. what I realized, yeah, yeah. you haven't. Yeah. Let's put it out Let's there. Let's put it out there. Out there. <laughs> but having said that, Atika, like when I was praising an actress mm. and I took her name mm. and the journalist was so shocked. She's like, wow. 
you took how her name you. how sweet of you i said why not like i'm incredibly happy with what tripti dimri is doing with yeah. kala yeah. at the same time huma what she's done with yeah. uh, you know monica oh my darling i think we all, we everyone can't be sun one has to be a moon and they both shine at their own time how wonderful wow. what a line lovely yeah. what a line if Inko only we can bhejenge <laughs> hum angrezi rekhta mein <laughs> प्लेटफॉर्म वेर आई कुड डू ऑल दिज नजाकत Uh, having said that the hardest skill for me was uh, on this particular film the language uh. and to be able to communicate with the you know the director because i really wanted sometimes i w- i was struggling as to what the director actually wants from me okay. and um, so language is something that i'm really working on at this point of time but having said that uh, I have I have been working on two different films at the same time mm. uh, which was my mistake okay and I have taken an oath right now that I will not do two films at the same time I will so focus me, on that's one a, that's a that's an oath very early on in your career but you know that's actually that's fair I should be fair to the character sometimes when I would come back home I would feel cheat like I'm cheating on that character and it it's it just puts you you know Brack, you feel like guilty, you know, like it's not fair. One day you're here, one day you're there. I, I don't want to do that. That's also a way of looking at your craft. Yes. How about you, Vidya? I'm thinking, what is the toughest skill? I think uh, ran over someone very well in the movie. <laughs> 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 no, I think you know, in Jalsa, I had to change. I explored different ways of breathing. Oh, mm. and uh, <laughs> because we were, she has panic attacks. Mm. and because visually you don't want it to look the same every time yeah. she's having a panic attack i worked with pooja swaroop um who mm-hmm. does a lot of these acting workshops mm-hmm. i worked with her a bit also because i'm mother to a child with cerebral palsy mm-hmm. yeah. you know and i wanted to understand how that what cerebral palsy actually means how it impacts the child's life and also the parents life and you know uh, lives and everything and I think um, I, I enjoyed the process of those workshops, both mm. on the breathing mm. and with the boy, because you know we needed. A, there was one scene, of course. Finally, in the edit, they put it to music. But there's a scene when I'm very brutal. When I say things to him yeah. that mm. I couldn't get myself to even every time I tell Suresh, like you know, this is is this really required? You know, can you not? He and he'd say, No, this is really. it's your worst fears exploding yeah. mm-hmm. okay so you have to be able to because you're so scared for him mm-hmm. that you're actually being nasty to him mm-hmm. because you want to protect him because you're wondering how the decision you've taken your your action has is going to impact your child and especially this child who you feel needs even more protection than yeah so i was really panicking and then uh, he got in pooja swaroop and uh, you know also she's she's a kind of a held in person she's not very expressive she's not very uh, even demonstrative with her kids so i didn't want it to look like uh, false yeah you know and i enjoyed those workshops i did and exploring the breathing i have to tell you that the mm-hmm. outcome of that was that there were times when i'd lose it i'd get so angry after the workshop because when you alter your breathing all kinds of things you can start crying a lot you can yeah. get angry you can it can have all kinds of impacts and wow. it was fascinating to me because i'm not a trained actor mm-hmm. so for me to have gone through that process was very interesting and would you recommend that uh, to every actor to no it really depends breathing? on the role and okay. you know of course there is a school of acting the uh, veena pani uh, chavla mm-hmm. school of acting which you uh, not yeah. just school of acting but i think it's they breath and spine yeah, they work do and dance work. out yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. so i think people do use that method but i'm someone who's never 
known so, any method to I've explored been exploring my way your own method <laughs> yeah you made your own method that's true with and she has she I, I always say that she uses her voice and her yeah. smile and her laughter yeah. very positively to make a character really lovable even if that character is a little gray or sometimes nasty you still you know this I always mention that scene to her in तुम्हारी सुरु द हस्बैंड सेल्स की पार्टनरशिप कर लेते हैं साथ में करते हैं पार्टनरशिप में मुझे कुछ जमेगी नहीं अमेजिंग अमेजिंग सो निम्रत व्हाट अबाउट यू टेल मी अ स्किल दैट यू हैड टू लर्न दिस टाइम द फॉर दसवीं आई मीन इट वाज इन दिस इयर दिस इयर बिकॉज़ वी स्टार्टेड वर्क ऑन इट प्री कोविड सो हरियाणवी वाज यू नो वाज वेरी एक्साइटिंग टू लर्न एंड you know accents are such a guilty pleasure to mm. learn because you're like oh i'll have so much to talk about <laughs> you know after the film releases yeah. hopefully it'll be all good stuff uh, so maza bada aaya usme because every language has a rhythm you know everything has a musicality about it so we had a wonderful uh, dialogue coach uh, the, sorry a dialect coach sunita ji and uh, she's one of the best in the business and you know उनकी पर्सनैलिटी भी बहुत इट वॉज वेरी वेरी कलरफुल फॉर मी टू यू नो टेक इंस्पिरेशन फ्राम शी इज फ्राम हरियाणा एंड यू नो शी इज रियली एक्साइटिंग टू बी अराउंड सो सी डायलॉग अरे बाप रे आई डू अरे प्लीज गिव दैट गिव दैट भाषण वाला थी न्यूज कोल्ड योर हजबो वाला कि अब आप सी एम के हज बन लो सो आई थिंक फॉर मी ना वन मोर थिंग वॉज दैट आई डिड नॉट वॉन्ट हर टू बी एन अनलाइकेबल पर्सन इट्स वेरी इजी टू डू दैट विद कैरेक्टर्स विच आर रिटर्न फॉर यू नो ब्रिंगिंग द सॉर्ट ऑफ द ग्रीनेस ऑफ ऑफ द स्क्रिप्ट आउट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डू दैट फॉर मी एंड आई ऑलवेज इंजॉयड ब्रिंगिंग सम काइंड ऑफ अ ह्यूमैनिटी और सम फन टू a part which is actually written for uh, uh, you know being disliked even uh, like yeah bad people have likable quality yeah yeah they do yeah on the worst day they'll be entertaining at the very least <laughs> you're right you're right so, you know in the process of a character being written to, to the director and visaging it ki main kaisa isko karna chahta hu to the actor who has her own or her, his own style of mm. approaching uh, mm. a person's um, character or personality that character goes through a big paradigm <coughs> shift from the paper to actually on the yes, set yeah. ek instinct hoti hai huh. like for me whether i played monica or i think very early on i played uh, a sex worker in badlapur yeah for me it was very important that at any given point of time they were not only likable they also always kept their dignity as people yes yes you know what happens that we, very often if women are especially great then we start labeling them or calling them yes. certain things and i feel that's like you know yeah. problematic for me at least i feel like why like we are just they just people in a situation making some bad choices some good choices and you know they should so i feel that that is really important for me like how do you find that balance like and monica like she's as grey as grey gets she's yeah. sleeping with and blackmailing the entire office yes. but you know how do you still make her likable how do you still yeah. make people feel bad yeah. when she dies and be like are ya shit is it a spoiler i'm sure people have seen the film <laughs> <laughs> everybody has watched it till now so you know th- that that kind of a thing so that i enjoy a lot and but I, how did you make her likable how do you make a character likable even if it is not likable on paper I think that's, that's a, a challenge. It, it's both, right? It's it's what you want to say is also I have to you have to give credit to the writers and the director because it's also the lens through which they shoot it. I like playing real three-dimensional characters, mm. you know, and I don't see them as black or white. Mm. I feel everybody is gray. Mm. You know, even a very doting father can get very upset at their child and hit them in a moment of yeah. just, you know, anger or whatever. And is that wrong? Absolutely. And so a really bad human being a woman who maybe sells a body can also be a really nice person nice person you know and i f- i find that very interesting because i feel otherwise just to play cardboard cut out characters especially for girls ye achhi ladki hai ye heroine hai ye vamp hai matlab please like True. we are not like that you know like True. how suffocating so to yeah. to play characters like that yeah you mm-hmm. know premchand very famously said ek purush mein jab stree ke gun aate hain to aap usko devta samajhne lagte hain aur ek stree mein jab purush ke gun aate hain to aap usko kulta बुलाने लगते हैं सो दैट्स द सोसाइटी दैट वी लिविंग इन एंड व्हेन यू गेट दोज कैरेक्टर्स इट्स सच अ चैलेंज फॉर यू कि आप कैसे उसको पोर्ट्रे करें कि एक सर्टन अंदाज में ही वो रिसीव किया जाए सो दैट इज वेर द एक्टर मैटर्स दैट इज वेर द मीडियम मैटर्स the also it's very important it. ratika to not judge what you're playing yes. i think yeah. it starts so there yeah so true. it's very important you know because uh, unknowingly we are always judging ourselves people around us what we read and everything has an impact on us knowingly unknowingly subconsciously wo aate rehta hai so that if that process is very important yeah. and, and you played a about. woman in lunchbox who was a married yeah. woman yeah slightly dissatisfied but yeah. it was not overtly 
clear that she is dissatisfied, but obviously the quite dissatisfied. Overt, मतलब उससे ज़्यादा it's such a challenge. I mean, she is has a platonic relationship with a person, and she loves to feed him. How it's such a blurred line that the director and the actor both have to tread. For me, with the the portrayal of that uh, girl Ila's uh, character, for me the most important thing was that uh, what is it that she's running away from exactly? Her life, her choices, her past, her conditioning. Yeah. So you know, many times I've noticed that in life also we're actually fighting battles of other people whom we've noticed around us haven't been able to mm. fight. Fight. You know, our mothers. Our sisters, our aunts. So for me, it was very important to see that what are her frustrations and where are they coming from. So many times we'll just overreact to things because we've seen it around us and we've seen people live with something forever. Yeah. Ki it's okay. ऐसे ही चलता है. चलने दो. कोई बात नहीं. You know. So somewhere for me, the essence of her was, you know, that running away from that or getting away from that cage that she was. Uh, just signed off to yeah, and you know lunchbox was also a very classic example of human behavior in psychology yeah. because the character had suffered from parental trauma mm. when the father dies and you go to your place yeah. the first thing that your mother says is mujhe bhook lagi hai yeah. oh god she was tired of taking care of yeah. her ailing husband yeah. for years absolutely and that's what she says to her daughter yeah. and people didn't realize the the gravity of that scene it was such a powerful scene ma kehti hai mujhe bhook lagi hai so yeah, yeah you're right so beautifully and observed by you because everybody goes to parental trauma yeah. if you know what i mean yeah, in yeah, some yeah. way yeah. so, so true. and but it takes it's a like brave a it big, takes a brave set of people to yeah. put that yeah. you know yeah. in a film in the writing yeah. and it's wonderful yeah. that you remember that yeah it's, and, and our films need to be more moment. nuanced mm. yes yeah. people, our films need to incorporate aspects of uh, uh, psychology sociology yeah. because then it makes a nuanced piece of yes. art i definitely think that's happening huh? it is yeah. it's happening now you're seeing it more and more now in your film also i mean the that woman who was kind of bichari journalism भी देखना है बच्चा भी देखना है यू नो द्लाइमैक्स ऑफ समन रियली राइचियस सेल्फ राइचियस सो फॉर हर टू बी कन्फ्रंटेड बाय दिस सिचुएशन आई थिंक वॉज इट इट शेक्स यू आप राइट बिकॉज बाय द वे आई सर नो टू द फिल्म first and what yeah. was the reason because i couldn't imagine walking away from something like this i said no 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 yeah. nahi main to nahi karungi when the pandemic struck mm. i think i realized i was seeing things yeah. in very in a very black and white way and i realized that you know who knows how we are going to behave in a yes. situation like this yeah. and that's when i was having a conversation with suresh one day and I, he said i've reworked some parts of the script so i said okay let me read it again because i knew now i was willing to put myself in the that position initially actually in the film when the accident happens and she's about to get out of the, of the car she suddenly has flashes of her son but mm. suresh very clearly didn't want to have that mm. he said people will know yeah. what her motivations are for walking away from that for yeah, yeah you know you don't that's where the nuance plays its part yeah yeah you don't have to रब इट इन कि नहीं लड़की बहुत अच्छी है लेकिन किसी परेशानी में है यू डोंट हैव टू रब इट इन एनी मोर इन दिस ऑडियंस इज वेरी स्मार्ट या दे गेट इट दे आर वेरी स्मार्ट एंड द बेस्ट सिनेमा इज वेयर द ऑडियंस कैन एंटर द फिल्म यू नो हाउ नाइस एंड वी फील लव वाचिंग सर्टेन फिल्म्स वेयर वी हैव बीन एबल टू गस्प एंड यू नो ब्लश और एंटर watching a scene or laugh or you know where the fourth wall actually becomes one with the big screen <laughs> And when you're discussing the movie after you've watched the movie, yeah, yeah, and the yeah, person yeah. you're discussing it with has a different perspective, and you yeah. have a different yeah, 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 perspective, yeah. and you're like you're watching the same film. The same film, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And also, what's beautiful right now, like because you know I, when I was a part of Tufan, um, it's Ananya who's got a profession of her own. And I was very happy when you know journalists also asked me that, hey, you're playing a doctor, you know, how about that? And in that movie, I don't know if many of them noticed it or not, but it's Ananya asking Aziz out. It's not Aziz asking Ananya out. Mm. So that thing has changed. Yeah, and it's very, very subtle. Cool. Mm. 
That's yes. so subtle. Yes. But I should ask girls out. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, that bit. I but don't know. You know, Huma, what I feel is asking is different, but chasing them is a, a different thing. Thing, yeah. I think guys should always chase women. I think that that part I want to keep. To not an extent. Ask women. Well, within a marriage, I definitely believe that. <laughs> I just feel like we. I'm so yeah. responsible. Like whatever character I play, I feel responsible because yeah. someone or the other is going to pick up on that character and want to be like Ananya yeah. or want to be like Sonia yeah. or be like Sita. Yeah. In that case, I don't want uh, boys to think that oh, hero piche pada hai, toh ham bhi hero ke dera jayenge. Yeah, true, 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 true. Shouldn't be like yeah, that. So I'm yeah. happy that that one shift. I felt so good. When uh, uh, you know it was the other way around, yeah. it's so minute, but just made me happy. So true. I, I'll tell you a small instance. Uh, so uh, you know, Vidya, I keep doing a lot of things, not just one. So I, I actually wrote a script um, uh, yeah. in the lockdown. Yeah, and there's a romantic scene between a girl and a boy, and the boy says, uh, "Can I kiss you?" So the girl says, "You never say that. You say." Can we kiss? Ah, nice. Ah, nice. So that's nice. a uh, nice. smoother yeah. way of. It's a shift. Uh, it's a shift. It's a shift. Yeah. That's shift. what we need in, in in cinema. It's not a one way thing. It's yeah. it's two, it's two people. Way. Yeah. yeah. The, the whole consent will also yes. come in, and the so yeah, these are the. Yeah, Things like that one of my co-actor, we had a scene mm. uh, recently, and uh, in, in the last film I did, mm. I asked him, "Are you comfortable?" He's like, he looked at me, and he's like, you "I should be asking that." But I, I, I always do that. I'm like, "Bhai, ठीक है ना? If I touch you here, you're fine, ना?" No. They're like, "What?" But he was so surprised. I said, "It's okay. Even you deserve that. Yeah. Like, you know, like you need. We need to have that conversation. Are you comfortable? Right. Am I comfortable? Can I touch you here? Is this okay? Does this feel fine? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me, stop. Let's have a safe word." <laughs> So tell me, is it happening? What, what's the what's the what's the environment on the sets like for women now? Like for example, if you're doing an intimate scene, now we have intimacy coaches. Sure. It's, it's, a, it's a new concept mm -hmm. in India, but thank yeah. God it, it's there. I think it's about safety of women. I think it's always about because I think sometimes for calling it art, you so don't realize when you're transgressing a certain space with a woman. So I think it's just to keep that in check. And I think post Me Too, we all had to be more aware of this because. Some women may raise the red flag and be like, "Okay, listen, this is not correct." But a lot of women may feel because of the pressure of being on a set and doing yeah. the scene and all of that, mm -hmm. may not be able to raise their voice. So I think it's coming from that. To be honest, actually, mm -hmm. in my career, the most intimate, violent scene almost that I did was for Badla Pur, Badla Pur and yeah. that time they didn't have the concept of an intimacy director. Mm -hmm. But Pooja, uh, you know, who was the editor of the film, she was always there, and she was like, you know, taking care of me. So I mean, in that yeah. sense, she was. Like my intimacy director or whatever, but I feel like, like I said, no. I mean, uh, it's it's important, and I'm I'm glad it's there because the idea is to create a safe environment. Yeah. As an artist, you're okay with doing a lot of yeah. things, you know, but you also want to make sure that you also have a personal space as an individual, right? So nobody should exploit that. No, no. Talking about these scenes, uh, and you know, maybe storyboarding them is yeah. one. Aspect of it, but also talking about it. Like I remember, Arshad and I had this scene in Ishkia, yeah, yeah, and uh, which is probably the most intimate scene you that I've done. done. Mm -hmm. um, I did a, f I've done one in this film called Lovers, mm -hmm. but uh, we had an intimacy coach, and it was all very. But during Ishkia, I remember I told him that you know there were some things I was not comfortable with, okay. mm -hmm. like where his hands would go okay. mm -hmm. when the kiss was happening. So uh, there were do's and don'ts that, and we had a conversation yeah, about it. Right. Yeah. Abhishek Chaube actually mm. told us that you know, just have this conversation, and uh, tell each other what. Yeah. Actually, I guess he wanted me to tell Arshad because, yeah. but he was very sweet about saying, you know, you all figure it out how mm. you want to do it, and we actually had that conversation. Mm. It was a breeze. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It yeah. happened like that. Yes. So but I feel also very important. I feel also that there's a lot of responsibility that the media should also take in about talking about these scenes. Mm. You know, I feel like I mean now up to बहुत कम हो गए और आधे लोग member अच्छा आप इसमें kissing scene हैं आपका कितने kissing scenes हैं what so, yeah people yeah. talk like yeah. that and and I'm just like that's so wrong yeah. like you're in a press yeah. conference and somebody's asking a question like that yeah. it's not cool yeah. it's really not yeah. cool because you know on a set. Yeah, it's actually a very weird kind of a activity. Any way to yeah, go through, very, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, like everything else is broken down. Okay, you're walking here, you're doing this. Action sequences are properly choreographed. Mm -hmm. This is the one topic that, quite honestly, is everyone's nightmare. You know, from the director to everyone to you know, everybody is kind of like a little bit tentative about it. You are a little nervous. You want to be natural, but at the same time, 
you have to just be so real about something so intimate mm. it is not easy <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. yes. you know you are mic'd up you're sweating you've yeah. got a costume on you've got makeup hair you know everybody is coming and doing their thing you have to catch yeah. you know yeah. 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 it is a mechanical process that must be treated like a part of the profession mm. it's no voyeuristic pleasure you know we have our lives for that yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, there exactly. are lovers and partners exactly. and boyfriends and you know exactly. all of that too or girlfriends and wives that have to be uh, Uh, comfortable with such a scenario when mm. an artist is put in that scene and mm. should you choose to do it it has to be treated with something where it's not like a howa you know right ki hum sabhi ghabra rahe hain dar rahe hain you know it's life i remember like i i did a show called lela for uh, for netflix mm. and when the script came to me there was a topless scene in it mm. and i was not really comfortable with it and when deepa and i spoke about it she like you know actually we don't need to see it and there was a whole discussion because i'm like you know sometimes i also feel these scenes are put in for just no reason yeah what is the need like yeah. if you're trying to show somebody's humiliation or mm. whatever like you actually don't need to go all out yeah, yeah. and you know i feel like if mature people creatively can talk yeah. about it yeah. then you can actually decide whether it's yeah. needed or not so as true. opposed to being like ye script hai ye karna padega so you're just yeah. like oh actually yeah. no i don't yeah. think no. so yeah. i don't think i want to do yeah. this kind so of in that like in a horror is, film what you don't see is most is more scary, scary. Yeah. yeah so so <laughs> what you don't see is scary <laughs> <laughs> yeah but on a script when a scene like this is given to you do you get the intention of the director ki zarurat nahi hai unnecessarily titillation ke liye dal rahe hain wo dikhai bhi samajh aa jata hai na you get that yeah 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 you, you can make out the difference between titillation and yeah. art pehle mujhe samajh mein nahi aata tha yeah ab samajh mein aata hai hmm aisa kuch nahi hai aapko nahi but pehle samajh mein nahi aati thi meri so i i didn't know i guess i would just read a script yeah. hmm. um the way it's written yeah. you know but uh, now you can see the writer's intention, intention. Mm. Yeah. yeah you can see I, the yeah the yes. choice of words earlier i couldn't mm. realize yes. and that comes with experience, experience right but i'm really happy to be entering uh, you know the industry in that phase where i do have the choices of roles mm. you know there are doors open where there are women centric films mm. uh, the atmosphere on set is absolutely neutral yeah. you know the equal respect is given to yeah. both male and yeah, female yeah, actor yes, yeah. yes. and there's no there's no um, an actor is an actor there's no like second um, lead as lead a or yeah. character lead or character lead or character actor Thank God for or that. you know so things are changing things are getting better and but it's uh, also the kind of films we're doing i think yes. i'm not sure it's like that for everyone i don't know yes. yeah yes mm. but it's also the choice of films we're yeah. doing the people we're choosing to work with who are also <laughs> sensitized to this but mm. i i hope it changes for everybody yeah. but yeah. i think we shouldn't be talking for everyone because they're yeah. all yeah. like there's I'm, a different end to the I'm spectrum totally as well yeah. Yeah. and there are also be. nice people coming in yeah. the industry thankfully you know there were days ki wo ek packet ek attachee lekar aate the bag ka <laughs> paise lagane <laughs> industry mein ek hit film banani hai but now there are people who who are here for the sake of art Yeah. And, and it's a profession that you know it's not organized a, profession now yeah. ki it's not a hand film karni hai it's yeah, not like that yeah i picture banani hai hit picture yeah. banani hai for that for your association with something glamorous or larger than life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. today people are passionate, passionate about, about it about yes. because there's so much to choose from so should you put out a mediocre product people True. will reject it in 5 minutes yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. move on to the next best thing yeah, yeah. so you yeah. better bring your a game whether it's behind the scenes, scenes or on camera or on camera okay when you prioritize when you when you want to do a character there are various reasons to do that character the money involved maybe the travel maybe the production house maybe the character how it will eventually improve and increase your fan following or your number of followers because it's more gen x thing sab bolne wale script ha sab ka answer hoga script sab bolne wale correct but tell me how do you prioritize what's your uh, how do you categorize the reasons we want everything do? yeah there is no exactly. choice but there aren't too many projects that ensure all of these things so what's your personal favorite in in my experience uh, you know there are enough and more mm. such films yeah um being offered to me and the the variety uh of roles has only expanded over the years mm-hmm. hmm. you know and i keep saying this um that from the time i did ishkia when i was being told that you know actress ke life mein ek aisi film mm-hmm. hoti hai mm-hmm. to now mm-hmm. 14 years later mm-hmm. it's just the horizon has just widened mm-hmm. so in terms of roles it is better mm-hmm. it's uh, uh, the setups are more professional yes yeah. um I definitely think the money is better and that for me is non negotiable today mm. because I give a lot of myself to the film and um I believe that I bring it value so I need to be shown that value right um 
and uh, yeah the the director and the producer are extremely important for me because you can even if you have a great rapport with the director and you you make the best film you can you need the right producer mm -hmm. yes to give it the right you know to um, yeah one a canvas in every way you know to have an atmosphere conducive to everyone giving it their best mm -hmm. to sort of have the right kind of people mm -hmm. only a seasoned producer yes. knows which are the people to bring together maybe because i'm married to one today mm -hmm. i understand <laughs> it that much more yeah. you know but also then to give it the right kind of to know today for example the easiest example would be what is you know an ott film what is a theatrical film what are the things that you can i don't know it's just it's it's the entire package mm. Mm, entire package Besides, yeah. doing that a film is like choosing a life is. partner you need so many things but you hardly get four to five only and there are some things that you have to kind of be okay with theek hai chalo it's okay let's let's focus on the good things and forget the you don't get everything with every yeah. part for sure you know there's something which will be a point of discomfort mm. always at least in my experience either you're going away for too long or something about the yeah. or the other is is a bit of a you know like a pebble in the shoe mm. but having said that for me the biggest factor is will i be excited to be on set every day mm. with this part because okay. at the end of the day when i'm with the scene on camera mm. will i love doing what i'm doing or not exactly that's most important yeah. and that uh, you know that decision quite, for me at least happens within 30 seconds or 1 minute of hearing a script or a wow, one line wow. yeah, yeah yeah you have good instinct then yeah i's an it's an instant love affair hmm. immediately if hmm. i'm not sure then i take two days to figure out how am i going to say no <laughs> so, you yeah. know to you know in, yeah. in that sense like she epitomized a beautiful woman on screen she epitomized yeah. a very strong woman on screen you have epitomized a brave woman on screen and you are a mix of so many in so many roles that you've done bipolar <laughs> <laughs> multifaceted uh how important or crucial it is for your character to look good on screen so every woman on character, character yeah. to yeah? look the part yeah. you yeah. can't look good look like there the are part. times where yeah. i can't say sonia wasn't good looking she mm. was a village girl and that's how she with anyone would I look love sonia love sonia yeah like i can't play a uh, um, a girl from Uttar Pradesh and dress and like dress I'm, up. you know, someone else just to look pretty. Uh, also talking about your previous question, I think relatability is so important. Having said that, you you know you have the great script, you have the great director, no, wait, great wait. producer. No, wait, sorry, I'm interjecting. Mm -hmm. See, Zina Zaman did a film called Shivam Satyam Sundaram. Shivam Sundaram, where she had a, like a big patch on her face, Correct. and she was a person who was actually known for her sex appeal and her beautiful face. Yeah. And she chose to do something, something like that. that. That's what I'm asking. If you were to be given a character who's Probably an acid mm. attack survivor. Oh, no. I mean, has a why not? Or has a big scar on her face? Would you be able to? Has a time come for a leading actress to be able to do such? I roles? think it's always been there. Yeah. We'd, we'd yeah. remember yeah. Anargis yeah. Dutt uh, in in Mother India. Yeah. You know, she was one of the most gorgeous women off screen to take. Uh, you, you know, the the leap of faith she did. You are as beautiful as the truth you live in the character in the moment so on screen. Put. So beautifully I put. I really feel mm. that. It's Rakesh from Prakash Mehra sir who. because you know actors ki habit hote hai after the shot you'll just go and check yeah. ki how yeah, was it kya yeah. how was monitor. it monitor dikhte hai let's let's go watch it let we'll do an and i just realized that uh, you know so made me sit and he made me realize that are you not confident about the shot i said i am confident and he's like are you not confident about the director or the dop oh. or the hair or the makeup they all are there to take care of Multiband. you multiband <laughs> uh, no so what that's great learning that? i learned yeah. and i was like wow and after that there's no looking back and i'm so happy because when i'm performing i don't care about how my hair is what my makeup is but this is also schooling like yeah. i learned Yeah. you know through all of this i'm very happy to be able you know where he would just say this is your playground That's just true. play and trust your team yeah it is really liberating not mm. to wow. watch the monitor yes. yeah i stopped doing it in yeah. 2008 yeah mm. <laughs> because i realized that uh, i have to focus on what i'm doing exactly what she said there are other people they should be doing a good job so i should make sure i surround myself with the yes. right people right. yes and that's it hmm. beyond that yeah. nahi to main ye bhi dekhu wo bhi yeah. dekhu fir yeah. aapka paisa mujhe de dijiye main to lalchi hu bhai <laughs> it boils down to that main kar lungi <laughs> payment de do <laughs> acha paise ki baat chali hum log bahut saalon se baat kar rahe hain pay parity ki i also kind of 
try and get this topic back into the conversation and discussion. And the longer we continue with the discussion, the shorter time it would take for us to reach there. Uh, what's your take on pay parity? Where are we right now? Where would we like to go? I'm really happy with what I'm getting paid. Okay. Uh, whenever there is a conversation, I just tell them that, you know, if this is what I deserve, please give me. I'll put my heart you and say soul. That. I'll do one film at a time. I'll make sure that I give my best. Uh, but I've just started my career, so I don't think uh, about, for me, at this point of time, what is important is to good get work. a good film. Yeah. What about you? Um, you know, I don't know about pay parity because I'm not doing films alongside um, the big yeah. heroes. I think that's where it comes into play. But if you had to see, I, the overall percentage of what I get paid, um, you know, In within the budget of a mm -hmm. film to what a hero gets paid, I think the percentage is the same. Now, wow. their films cost 10 times what my yes. films do. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, I'm getting paid 10 times less. But within my construct i'm i'm happy, mm. happy. that's yeah. a very healthy way of looking yes. at it and also yeah. what you get paid is directly proportional to the people you're going to bring uh, to your film mm. you yeah. see at the end of the day it's yeah. a business mm. how many people am i attracting to the film i'm acting in yeah. and that automatically keeps changing going up going down yeah. Relevance, you know, for instance, if I go abroad and if I'm away doing something for six, seven months, when I come back, I have to work three times harder to come back to exactly where I left off. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not a, you know, slow but sure progression yeah. as it tends to be here. So I have sometimes noticed that uh, abroad things are very different, you know, where I'm working and it's an upward curve. Yeah. But here, because of the year gap or something like that, mm. uh, it's dipped a bit or it's exactly where I left off or in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah, but I was being offered this the last yeah. time I left, so, but yeah. that's a reality check. So it's also a business and sometimes it shouldn't be taken personally or uh, uh, you know, from the perspective of a gender point of view. Hmm. Sometimes you have to be neutral and look at it as uh, the entertainment business. Hmm. It is a business of uh, uh, emotions and personalities and people and stars hmm. and what are you bringing to the table? What's the relationship with money? Very good, very healthy. Okay. I love to earn my money. I love to spend my spend. money. I love it. Nice. I love it all. Yeah. I I don't uh, uh, I don't shy away from uh, wanting the good things in life mm. because there's such a joy in yeah. spoiling people around you or <laughs> you know generously enjoying the money that you're earning. We work hard for it. Okay. Uh, you know I'm not born with a silver spoon or you know uh, diamond shoes. Mm. I, I love earning what I what I do and when I spend it, it brings me triple the amount of joy. Mm. The world is witnessing a very beautiful cross pollination these days. You worked with Dulkar Salman, who's such a different person. He said, "Are we in Mumbai?" The Producers ask me to give at least 20 to 25 days for promotion. Uh, you know, and in other uh, disciplines also, some actors just don't talk to media too often. Mm. There are many actors who are not on social media. They focus on their work and they are not too much on social media. That's the dream. <laughs> That's a dream. <laughs> I'm glad that these people are entering our industry. So the people who are the viewers of our industry are also getting acclimatized to a new work culture new uh, ways of looking at mm. actors and how they should behave. What do you think of this new age of cross-pollination that is happening? Yeah. What's the good thing For that it's For me, the dream along? would be not to promote, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. I think, I feel like when you're promoting, you just have to, like I, I think I have a side to my personality, which is not the real me, which is when I'm promoting a film. Because you have to be funny and engaging and yeah. you have to go to all these reality headlines. shows and be vivacious. And I feel like maybe sometimes a film that you're doing has got nothing to do with it, but that's yeah. just, Something you have to project. Uh, earlier, I used to feel like I'm a you, but now I've come to terms with it and at peace with it. But I really feel like I'd rather just go go on set and do my work, and then just maybe I don't know. It's a utopian dream that there's one common platform where where all the trailers come and then people can decide, <laughs> and we don't have to yeah. do this because no, it. Hmm. Yeah, I think you know, show the trailer, spend money yeah. on showing the trailer everywhere. Let it be coming out of our our ears, <laughs> but you know. I think it's pointless when we do interviews yes. where we're talking about the, especially when someone asks me about the character, I don't know what to say. Kuch because na. the character has yeah. been an experience for me, mm. right? To articulate this and how am I going to, then my fallback is always professional. Mm. I start by saying, you know, she's a journalist who's 
Yeah. But that's not what that's yes. not what that's a, a small part. Yes. Of course, as women characters, I'm also, you know, I, I tend to enjoy the fact that she's mm. defined by her profession yeah. and she has mm. a larger purpose and all of that. But I feel it's that's what's exhausting about yeah. promotions. Yeah. I think we have to like I believe for Drishyam. Uh, they didn't, they didn't, didn't ma yeah, they didn't march and look at it. That's yeah. the most successful film today. Yeah. 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 You know, because people decided to go watch it. Yeah. So irrespective of आप क्या बोलते हैं उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता सोशल मीडिया पे आपके कितने फॉलोअर्स हैं उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता नो ऑल्सो आई बिलीव फॉर न्यू एक्टर्स हुमा व्हेन यू गेटिंग कास्ट अपेरेंटली यू गेट आस्ट व्हाट इज योर फॉलोइंग and mm, depending yeah. on that yes, then i have lost so, right. so, so many yeah. brands yeah. because i don't have all insane that's crazy that's right brands, 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 brands is a different thing but altogether you know, right because Uma, brands is right now also moving away from no, star base for casting also when you when your name has been discussed amongst the casting directors yeah. or whatever the question is how, how much how fan many, following yeah. she has yeah. i lost on a very nice film Because I do not have followers, I was like, now what do I have to do? I have to be an influencer. Yeah, and I'm I mean, saying, and, and, and that troubles yeah, yeah. me. I'm, I'm not a social media yeah, influencer. I'm an actor. Yeah, I'm an. You I, know, I act. It's like almost become also, a parallel job. Like, in the West, also, a lot of actors are on whatever, but they don't behave like influencers. I'm sorry, but most of us. I'm including myself also. Sometimes you just behave like influencers. I'm like, but my job is not to do this. My job is to act. Mm. You know, and there's a big difference. And yeah. and somewhere I think. we just it's just become so blurred mm. it's become really blurred like how does you have uh, uh, 10 million followers doesn't mean you can you can do that part well or not and exactly. if you forget yeah. that Ooh. if your film is good people will go and watch it irrespective, irrespective. irrespective. Yeah, yeah even if it doesn't get a great opening yeah. but if your film is average crap <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. or, then it doesn't matter matter it doesn't matter yes. what you're following matter. is look at tabu I, I mean, was oh, oh god I was boo oh, how relevant she popped is into my head till now and I I find her like so amazing because you know she's like top of her game she's been part of two of the biggest films of the year yeah she doesn't do any promotions I don't remember the last time like barely you'll see her that's doing whatever and yeah. and it's a life goal. you know what will it's be really goal. interesting is to after the film is released and just talk about the characters because most of the time there are like spoilers we can't give and i think it's really nice as to what the process is and not just actors yeah. but the you know the person who's uh, you know the cinematographer be it the director be it the editor or the sound the person who's recording the sound it's high time uh, you know and it's it's beautiful like you know on a movie set it's yeah. not just about hair makeup outfit or the story it's about yeah. all the technicians who are yeah. i think they also deserve uh, but having said that yeah. you know we have to accept that it is a visual medium where what you see, see is what, what you want to yeah. know more yeah. about yeah. so people who are interested in the process of filmmaking mm -hmm. i think yeah. would be interested in that but i also feel we're decoding the process yeah, too much yeah. right. you know you're taking away the I magic was, i've never been on a an action film set and the other day i saw on instagram i saw the scene of a, a war scene of some film being shot and i was like i don't want to know mm. don't yeah. tell me so much let me feel it mm. it's yeah. called suspension of disbelief yes, but today right. there is no suspension yeah. of disbelief yeah. you are robbing we are robbing people of that yeah. true. you know by putting out so much so kitna dete raho and the other thing is this whole gym look and airport look and what not <laughs> what do you yeah, feel about matlab, that you know it's like i'm saying if i if i'm going to be seen 20 like, like honestly i decided i don't want to be part of this circus cuz i'm like it's troubling to see me You know, sometimes Please I don't want to dress up. Yeah, I want to put job. my hair in a yeah. jura and I want yeah. to wear a dirty shirt yeah. and I want to just quickly run and catch But up. But that's like social media and these reels that we make and lots of all these new new things that have come up mm. pay pay well. I I think it's a big way of earning more money these days. So that's the catch twenty two situation yeah. because it's become a parallel job almost. It's become a requirement now. In my off time, I almost have anxiety sometimes that am I okay to just not do anything on social yeah. media right now? Does your manager what? ask you? Yeah. Kuch Nobody yeah. has to ask anyone. You know, these are just projections, also, because you're also wondering, "Ki, um, am I doing the right thing? Am I visiting this place because I want ten pictures to put up on my social media? Yeah. Am I enjoying where I am?" Yeah. Mm. You know, so it's become a little bit of a circus, no doubt, yes. mm. and it becomes troublesome sometimes because everybody doesn't have a personality that you yeah. want to put out yes. there. Yes, like I'm a very happy. private person. Absolutely, you, know? you have to be always happy, about, you know? always excited, yeah, always not. beautiful. Yeah. And you there know. are times when you're getting ready for something and you're in the worst mood. 
-hmm. And in that moment, you know, you don't want to be filmed, and you know, you don't yeah. want people so like making person be cute. You, yeah? <laughs> you know, no, no. Yeah. I'm, you know, I've just recently I've started doing these reels on Instagram, They're which cute, I'm enjoying. Thank you. you enjoy. I, I enjoy them. They're lovely. They're fun. <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, the thing is that. I've been told by my team hmm. forever to be more active on social media, but I've never enjoyed it. Okay. I started doing it when I felt like it. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's, that's and I only yeah. do the ones that I want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is, it is your team's job to tell you. Right. Yeah. You know they are here to well get wishes. you the yeah. best. Yeah. 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 You know, but you have to do what feels correct to you. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be authentic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so log do so cheese bolenge, and they're meaning it well because. You know, you yeah. are finally you are an entity that yeah. they are handling, and they want to get you the best brands, and they want to, to get you more visibility and all that. But you have to define what that define, means for you. Yeah. And also, you know, you do movies, you do endorsements, and you do all the social media. How much time is left for your personal yes. lives? You have pets. 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 How do you balance? What do you do in your personal life? How do you make time? And how do you make sure that my personal life is as rocking as my professional life? See, it's also I, important, right? By yeah. not I, committing to something that's not sustainable. Yeah, yeah. You know, like staying true and real to your nature. That two days I'll be excited for the five people who are telling me, okay, do this, do this, and then the third day I'll be like, no, nah, I don't want to uh, do it. I, <laughs> I just want to do something yeah. else. I want to go for a long drive. I want to call my mom. I want to play with my cat. So whatever there is, you know, in my life, which brings me pointless joy. But a lot of joy. Hmm. You know, there is no end I game. I found a cat person. Yeah. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Do you have pets? Do you have pets? I have. I have, I have two dog. cats. Yeah. I have, I have two indie cats. It's a lot of work. Not really. Not really. Cats are cats like the are very fast free. They are very chilled out. Yeah, no chill. emotional stuff. They are very relaxed. Very cute. They might not be emotional, but you get emotionally attached to uh -huh. pets, no? And I mean, yeah, people are it's it's very hard to leave them behind. Yeah. Pets are amazing. It's a lovely thing to come home to. You know, they would just like. To a being, to a living being yeah, who lives to, with to you. So always happy same to house. see you so and innocent. is welcoming yeah. and no demands and yeah. like except for food and you know treats. Yeah. <laughs> but Nirmal, yeah. I don't like know my, if you my, agree with this, yeah. but you know I just observe my cats and it, there's so much to learn from them. You know, as an actor also, the yeah. qualities, the way they, you know. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Like sometimes I just keep staring at him, and it's. <laughs> except I'm not, I, I'm not missing a cat teacher. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but when you're done with your runs, but come upstairs one day. <laughs> I will. I will. Yeah, yeah. But in acting school, you know about that. Right? In acting school, they actually teach you how to behave yeah, like yeah, an yeah. animal. Yeah. And a girl is supposed to mimic mimic a cat for you to get the right posture of a Duchess of England or something like that. If you play a character like that, yeah. they teach you actually, animal. Actually, help you during Sita. Ram. Yes. Because I'm nothing like that character. Yeah. I'm nothing like that. I I, I don't know what princess is. Also. <laughs> so yeah. Beautiful. But uh, the question that you asked earlier. <laughs> but, but, that's uh, I want to go back to the fifth question you asked. Because I did not give my thoughts. Okay, I just lost my lost chain of thoughts. Okay. Yeah. okay, in the end. What is it that you're still waiting for and is still eluding you? Hmm. Anything. It might be a role or it might be an experience. It might be a... Anything. I learned two words. Irshad, I always learn, I have to say this. I always learn something from Atika, after yeah. my interview with her, yeah. because she speaks so, so beautifully. Well, does. English ho, Urdu ho. But do you remember it after? <laughs> <laughs> Tishnagi, I will. <laughs> so, kis cheez ki she's she ready. Abhi bhi reh gayi hai. Tell me. I really want to do films for kids. Oh. For children, fantasy. Um, because I feel like they're losing their innocence at a really early age. Very true. They've been dancing to all <laughs> sorts of songs. Yeah, and watching violence and on screen. Violence on screen, and the funny thing is, their parents are encouraging them to do so. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but whenever there is, you know, Christmas, I want to take my niece and nephews to the theater to watch movies. Except Spider-Man or Marvel movies, I don't think I can. There's any release for children. There are. I'm not saying that there's not, but I wish there were more. 
Very nice. That's, That's something that I really want to be a part of. Very good thought. You with them? <laughs> I just want to be surprised. Mm. Mm. You know, you are that kind of a person who loves surprises and Yeah, I I want something to blow my mind and I I want to do something that I haven't <coughs> imagined myself doing. Yeah. So all this is an actor. Personally, I I don't know. Just um Mr. Kapoor romantic aadmi hai. I make up for <laughs> Uh, I think we balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> I make up for the days he's not. <laughs> Are you a romantic person? Oh, and uh-huh. how? <coughs> yeah. Well, मैंने जब परिनीता देखी थी, तभी मुझे समझ में आ गया था. ये परिनीता नहीं है, इसमें बहुत कुछ विद्या करनी है. मैं तो हर चीज़ में रोमांस देख सकती हूँ. ये बकलावा में भी. बकलावा. इसी की तिष्णगी रह गई. किस चीज की तिश्नगी रह गई है किस चीज की आरजू प्यास बाकी है जिंदगी में एज अ पर्सन एज अन बींग आई थिंक एक विश है कि कभी ना क्यूरियोसिटी और इंथ्यूजियाजम ना जाए एंड कभी ऐसा ना लगे कि यू नो कि अब अब मैं बोर हो रही हूँ या यू नो अब मुझे मज़ा नहीं आ रहा वो मज़ा ना जाए लाइफ से बस दैट इज़ समथिंग आई वांट टू प्रोटेक्ट इट्स लाइक अ होली फायर और अ होली सॉर्ट ऑफ अ यू नो लाइक अ चाइल्ड यू आर प्रोटेक्टिंग विद इन यू कि वो वो इंथ्यूजियाजम क्यूरियोसिटी और जो एक जो एक एक जो नाइव नॉट नोइंग अबाउट एवरी होता है ना बिकॉज विद विद टाइम एंड विद एक्सपीरियंस विद फिल्म वी डू विद पीपल वी मीट Uh, वो इम्प्रेशन बनते जाते हैं right. यार ये ऐसा है वो वैसे हैं ये है वो है जेडेड ना हो कभी भी आई वॉन्ट टू नेवर बी जेडेड आई वॉन्ट बी फ्री ऑफ ऑल जजमेंट्स एंड आई वॉन्ट रिमेन द वे आई एम आई वॉन्ट यू आम यू ब्रिंगिंग गुड एड रेडी हैप्पी एज एन एक्टर बट यू नो यू इट्स सो फार बैक अतिका यू नो लाइक माई आमी लाइफ प्रीडी मच एंडेड एट एज इलेवन यू नो द कंटोनमेंट लाइफ वॉज ओवर एट दैट टाइम सो आफ्टर दैट इट्स जस्ट बीन यू नो लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसिस चॉइसिस दिस दैट एंड आई बीन इन मुंबई नाउ फॉर सेवेंटीन ईयर्स सो दैट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड यू नो एवरी एक्सपीरियंस मेक्स यू अ लिटल बिट डिफरेंट विच इज़ वंडरफुल एंड वेलकम आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कीप दैट इनर चाइल्ड ब्राइट एंड लाइफ सो दैट्स माई क्वेस्ट इन लाइफ उसका क्या होता है वर्ड उर्दू में Well, no, no, that oh, was God. office. Oh, what was that? Wow, wow. That was that seventeen years ago. Long that was in two thousand four. Oh wow! Wow! Eighteen years ago. Eighteen years ago. And uh, wow. fresh off the boat, as they say, I was r- roaming around with my photographs. Oh, really? And uh, uh, you know, with the stickers, name and number behind, and I had gone to Pradeep Dada's office, Pradeep Sarkar's, yeah, yeah. and Apocalypse. Apocalypse. So, so. Uh, in Bandra. वहाँ पे उनका ऑफिस था तो इनके म्यूजिक वीडियोस की तो मैं मैं इनकी मतलब पुरानी मुरी 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 पुरानी मुरी 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 मतलब या लाइक आई एम अ फैन शी इज अ लाइफ एग्जांपल एंड अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो शी इज कम एंड ओपन एंड क्रिएटेड डोर्स एंड वॉल्स एंड कभी आना तो मेरी कभी आना इनकी जो आंखें होती थी स्क्रीन पे आई वाज लाइक यार आई वांट टू वर्क लाइक दिस गर्ल यू नो सो आई आई वुड नॉट इवन से टू एनीवन इन इन कॉलेज और एनीथिंग बिकॉज़ पीपल वी लाइक या या व्हाटएवर अपने करो चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी बड़े आए सो आई मेट हर एट द रिसेप्शन ऑफ द ऑफिस एंड देयर शी वाज सो प्लेनली ड्रेस एंड स्वीटली लाइक देयर शी इज लाइक यस हाय एंड आई सेड हां आई वाज असिस्टिंग दैट अदर दोस डेज ओके या And I met her, and I said, huh? I said, aren't you that? So she said, yes. And and you know, she said, where are you from? Are you where are you from? So huh? I said, I'm from Delhi, and I'm here, and I'm I want to do this, and I don't know who to meet. Mm-hmm. She said, you come to uh, Ban Ganga, right? Yeah, yeah. You asked me to come there, and we there we sat. Uh, I think a few days later, where she was working on an ad film with Dada and Rani. Rani was, was Rani yeah, here yeah, oh, in cool. the ad film. Yeah. Rani was just sitting there. I didn't yeah. get to see. Wow. I just yeah. knew that she was there somewhere. And we sat on the steps in Ban Ganga, which is like you know, you know Ban Ganga. You have seen Balkeshwar. Mm. It's like a little mini Haridwar or Banaras mm. in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. Mm. So, there we sat. And one thing for me was that I was like, 
<laughs> you know, she's actually here and she's telling me what to do and whom to meet nice. and she actually gave me my first list of people that huh? I went wow, to. Wow, so sweet. Yes, indeed. And I have started my work from there, you know, ki coordinators this time, you know, yeah, coordinators I know. and people. But it, I just had a flash, flash. she wow. said 17 years and I just yeah. had a flash of her yeah. walking into the office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, when you say ki she's actually in a way honed you as an actor and also helped you in the initial years of your life, there is a word called Nama Kadaigi. When her producer husband makes the film, price come kar de jo. Price come kar de na. Ya I was go back and give back to her. Ye aur paise kaat rahi hai. Nahi nahi aur fayda usko ho. Kyun? I know why would Siddharth get involved. Exactly. A slip of the tongue is no fault of the mind. Whoever checks it is always unkind. But anyway, Nama Kadaigi. Nama Kadaigi. Aapka sawal kya tha? But, but uh, I must add to this, uh, you know, when I was doing Kum Kum Bhagya, we have a mutual friend, uh, Supriya Shukla. Oh, we're doing this ma'am. And uh, she <laughs> would, you know, there were times where I was not really happy where I was at. I wanted to do a lot of things, but I was, I felt like I was not able to do so. Mm. So, and I just didn't know how to start, like whether I should assist someone or whether I should go out, do auditions or I had no clue and mm. my family had no idea <laughs> what mm. I was up to. Yeah. That's when uh, there were times where I would just give up. I would have like meltdown sessions mm. and Supriya Shukla who played my mother, I would call her Ma, mm. I still call her Ma. And she would give me with them example as to how her yes. journey was. She, she started, she worked on herself, she assisted yeah. Dada for that particular time. Yeah. So she's like, your time will come, you just need to have patience. And ma'am, I don't know, but if I have ever told you this, but you have opened the doors for so many actresses out so there. True. And I'm yeah. so thankful Thank you. to, so true. It is to true. just be yeah. sitting right next to you and, you know, having this conversation. Most, I'm sure the camera must have gone just mess with us and looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Go out what is a bigger the question head now. again? It's true because you've really opened the floodgates in that yeah. sense, you know. Where your and it's it's it must have been a much tougher battle to fight. So the yeah. fact that all of us are sitting here, yeah. I mean, a big yeah. chunk of that it's credit goes serious. to you and the films that you did and spearheaded and made them work and just the range of characters you played. So thank you, thank you, thank you. As it was said, no, but. Um, you know, um, I'm not just saying this, but I think it's even those actresses who played bit roles mm. or did only two or three songs. Yes. I think it's the it's the efforts of all of them that we're standing here today. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. it's very true. I really think it's yeah, and because the angst of all our mothers to do more in yeah. life, and you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. and, and we're standing on all their shoulders, and they're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Say about them. Okay, and but thank you. Love you. Lastly, Huma, what is your Tishnagi? Now, it's so much for me. It's my job that the job is just working on the top, the money is getting the money. No, no, don't say money, please. Say money. I mean, money, money. Why don't you have any intention? No, no, actors, money, 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 बस यही छोटी सी हमारी आरज़ुएं हैं सुकून शुक्र में जियो और सब्र सब्र रखो तो तीन सा हो चुके हैं हमारे अब नहीं but yeah just to have fun yeah just have fun play different characters I thought next you'll say sex का कुछ that that is off camera but now that you said it not I don't mind why not I think this is where you should end this the interview. Is <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and you know, if if someone were to write a book on you, on each one of you, what would you like the book to be titled as, or what would you like your epitaph to read? The one line everybody has in their mind: "Ki ye hu main asli main, wo kya hai?" Oh God, ek zindagi kafi nahi hai. Can I go with that? As cheesy as that sounds. <laughs> okay, about you. Tish <laughs> nagi. Nice. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. 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 <laughs> Amazing, you with them? I don't care what they write on my epitaph. Because that's the title. Ah, yeah, but I think entertainment, entertainment, and entertainment. चली गई तो फिर as long as I'm here, be good to me. उसके बाद क्या लिखोगे? I don't care much. She cared, but she didn't. I don't know. 
Nirmal can answer what was your question. I don't think. I don't think I've reached that stage to even. I'm just so happy that you we asked me this question. We know, but I'm not going to write a book on me. Wow, how interesting is that? Koi book hi likh de yar. Title jo de na de do. I'll be very happy. Yeah, just yeah. happy, happy yeah. person. Happy, uh, very happy person. Amazing. What a lovely session. What a lovely conversation. And love the laughters and the camaraderie. Har saal ap aise hi bolti. Har saal, har saal. Sab ko same line chutkati hai. बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं क्या बोलू अच्छा क्या इस कॉन्वर्जेशन के बाद आपने कोई तिश्नगी रह गई है मेरे अंदर बहुत तिश्नगी अभी नहीं रह गई है क्योंकि इतना खुशी का जाम बड़ा ग्लास पिया है मैंने पिछले एक घंटे में कि मुझे बहुत मजा आया है कोई हसरत कोई आरजू पक्का ऑल कंप्लीट ऑल कंप्लीट अरे नहीं लेकिन पता है मैंने अभी एक नई नज़म लिखी उसकी आखिरी चार लाइनें हैं कि महंगे लिबास कीमती जेवर ऊंची सैंडल महंगे लिबास कीमती जेवर ऊंची सैंडल मुखौटों के पीछे के मलाल पहचान ना पाओगे कामयाब औरतें कुछ इस अदा से मुस्कुराती हैं कि उनके दिल का असल हाल कभी जान ना पाएंगे ये समझ नहीं आया उनके लिए दूर से देखा वन मासी शेर नो लवली और ये हम दूसरे वालों को नहीं बोलेंगे